It's time to step up and get into our spiritual maturity. Let's get into it for the week beginning December 9th, 2019. Hey guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 9th, 2019. So just like I did for last week, I'm going to just sit here. I'm going to kind of tune in and I'm just going to give, I'm going to play medium, okay? <laughs> which is what I am. All right. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is the format that we do. Sometimes I'll do an auto, right? Sometimes I'll do a, a full body channel, which might be unusual for some people to see. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tap in and I'm going to talk about things that need to be heard. Okay. Now this might mean that it's something you don't want to hear. <laughs> It might mean uh, it's uncomfortable. You might, it might not be bullet pointed enough for you because we get so conditioned to have that sort of like corporate mentality against, sorry, people in corporate America <laughs> and corporations all over the world for that matter. Um, but we do get kind of trained to think in a certain way. You're really going to have to let that go. If you are going to hear what you need to hear out of this, relax into it. All right. It, it don't don't let the ego get in here and go this doesn't make sense this doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense listen this is higher consciousness stuff trying to come through my my itty bitty little brain and out this mouth i'm doing my best over here <laughs> it's not gonna be perfect but we're doing our best here but you know you really have to let go of you know oh this doesn't make sense and trying to get the brain to make it logical come into the heart brain okay and and let that experience filter in. Okay. Of course, if you're worried, you can always protect yourself. Uh, you can ask Archangel Michael to bring, uh, some light around you, some blue light. Uh, I tend to see some red with Archangel Michael sometimes. I think maybe that's just because of artist portrayal, but <laughs> like whatever, whatever light you want to put around you, by all means, go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna be quiet here for a moment. Let's see what we need to know in the coming week. So I just heard that there's a fresh surge and this is a positive thing. This could be, yeah, it has to do with children again. We got this a little bit last week. It has to do with children again, but this isn't that kind of thing where we're putting kids on a pedestal and letting them just get away with anything. All right. Or letting kids kind of talk down to us. Now for people who are really set in their ways, this is going to be a very difficult time for you. Okay. Um, and the more you try to clamp down and control things, which would, and part of that controlling is, well, I don't know if you can hear, there's like a big storm going on outside. <laughs> the sky looks terrifying, actually. I, I grew up in Ohio, so a sky like that usually indicates a tornado, but it's not that time of year, so maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> if I get whipped away, you know what happened, right? All right, but if you're really set in your ways and you're using that um, to control people, right? Because I think... We've seen this in generations. So if we have, let's say, an older generation that's very used to uh, a certain mindset, they're not used to hearing about homosexuals, for example, they're not used to uh, women being powerful, they're not used to, you know, whatever, you can go on and on. Um, this can make them, perhaps, maybe a person in a certain generation feel very threatened and want to uh, diminish someone who's younger than them. Now, conversely, and I've seen this firsthand, we have this generation that's coming of age that is getting self-righteous and it's getting a little crazy. It's getting a little crazy where, you know, they're like, look at me, I'm disrespecting my elders. Uh, look at me, I, you know, I'm such a victim. This happens, this happens a lot. Um, you know, poor us, poor us. What we're getting at here is that we all need to exist together in mutual respect and mutual love. We are not going to agree with one another. We are not going to see eye to eye. We are not going to control someone to get them to agree with us. We're taking our power back, but it has to be done in a non-ego way. Go ahead, ask me how to do that, because I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know, because I always say I'm human too, so we're all going through these lessons together. But... We're going to see a lot of people sort of getting checked, okay? And there's going to be some sadness around this too because I know nothing breaks my heart as much as when I see somebody who 
you know, maybe is of the generation that would be of like my parents' age, and you come back to them and say, no, you can't do that. That's hurtful to people. And you actually see them getting hurt because it's like everything that they thought was true is not true. And that might bring up some sense of um, insecurity. Okay. Um, again, with the younger generation, just, a, just two examples. Can you hear that? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you ought to see the screens on my apartment. They're shredded. I, mean, I live in Colorado Springs. We get horrendous windstorms. This is weird. <laughs> Whew, okay. So the wind just got a little nutty. What the heck were we saying? We were saying about, <laughs> you know, or the younger generation, if, you know, they think that they've gotten it figured out and they're on the right path and they're, you know, um, opening up to, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to be the one to open everyone's mind and they realize they're being a little pretentious. They're being a little pretentious. You're, you're talking down to people. You're being judgmental. Uh, just because that's how you see things doesn't mean that that's how everybody has to see things. So really, you're going to realize that we're all kind of at fault. <laughs> right? um, and maybe we can grow from that. All right. Uh, one of the examples I love giving is... Um, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to get distracted here, but this is a little scary, okay? Uh, just hang with me here. Um, it, it's t this is kind of weird, but it's women, I, I've had some haters come forward. Not always, but they tend to be women in their, I would say, late 50s, going into their 60s, white, coming at me and going, oh my gosh, your makeup, you can't wear makeup like that. Oh my gosh, why were you wearing that top? It was so distracting. Clearly, you're trying to use your body. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> trying to use your body to get views. I mean, thanks for thinking I got a body that could get views. I mean, I don't, I don't know that to be true. <laughs> I'm doing a vlog, miss, so you're going to see a lot more. I, I, I look like I could have been like, you know, like, like tall and slender, and then someone came and bopped me on the head and went, Pfft, and I went, Pfft. You'll see. So maybe there's some awareness that's coming out where you're not necessarily combating someone. You can stand up for yourself. You guys, if, if you're just meeting me, hi, again, hi. <laughs> um, but those of you who follow me for a long time, you know, I no, I will stand up for myself. I don't care what other readers out there are pretending to do. Be careful with that. What they're pretending to do, um, pretending to be so holy, but God knows what they're doing behind closed doors. Um, as far as being, you know, I don't know why this is just coming through. Like some people who are presenting themselves as spiritual are actually being very, very harmful to people behind the scenes. So be careful with that. Um, but yeah, this the whole thing here is just you can stand up for yourself, but, you know, you're not starting a whole war over something, if that, if that makes sense. So this, I think, is going to be the thing here, guys. It's going to continue on because we're trying to evolve as like human beings. Okay. Here's the deal. I think I used the example last week. Greg Braden um, was watching an episode of Missing Links. I think it is. And, uh, you know, he's talking about how humans are getting kind of, we're, we're, he was talking about a whole um, experiment or whatever and something about how <laughs> from a scientific standpoint, it makes life seem so not special. And so we don't see it as special. And so we don't honor it. And you know, he went on in this episode to say that we're quick to go to war and, you know, all these kinds of things. That is very important to bring up right here because I think that's part of the energy of this week where it's not cerebral, guys. It's not going to be logical for you. So if you're putting a lot of energy into that, you better knock it off. <laughs> Just kidding. If you're putting a lot of energy into that, though, it's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to get the answers that you're hoping for. This is more about learning to value life. And not in, a, in that I'm going to pretend that I value life, but really on the inside, I'm like, whatever about that group of people or whatever about that or whatever, you know, I don't really care. We're, we're resetting. Okay. And um, it's going to come with a little bit of turmoil. I mean, I, I don't know how else to put it. It's going to come with a little bit of turmoil because you're going to realize things about yourself. You're going to realize you know, maybe you lie to yourself. Maybe when something bad happens to you, you fabricate a whole story around it. 
so that you're the victim, so that people feel sorry for you, um, or whatever. I mean, we can go on and on and on with examples, but we're learning to appreciate ourselves, our own lives, not in a narcissistic way, to be caring. And uh, as always, as always, a very similar message to last week. Sorry about it. Sometimes it continues. <laughs> we need to watch out for the kids. Make sure the kids are being protected. Okay. If anything else comes up as we shuffle the cards, I'll bring it up. But let's see what we have here. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, please go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please read the instructions very carefully. I do them digitally, so it doesn't take any time commitment on your part. There is a wait time, so please make sure you're paying attention to that as well. If you would like to go check out some of my courses, I will have them over at Gumroad. I will be discontinuing Teachable, I believe. I'll be doing that. Yeah. And thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. You make it so that it is possible for me to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Or if you're not interested in any of those things and you just want to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, that helps out a ton. Okay. YouTuber life. Ooh. Okay. Wait. Ooh. <laughs> really? <laughs> Now it's getting dramatic. Okay. So the card that leapt out into my face is Moonstone Cycle. So we're going through a cycle of the earth, guys. So we will see destruction. We will probably, maybe not this week, but you know, if, if the uh, earth starts to rumble a little bit and it starts to pull the tides and, you know, if you want to think of it that way, um, there might be some earthquakes too. There's always earthquakes. So that's not hi focus there we are hi <laughs> so you know predicting earthquakes is like whatever you know like not that the earthquake is whatever that's serious god bless anybody who's experiencing that but i'm saying like it happens all the time so it's not like grandiose prediction you know what i'm saying um but this is time to allow us as human beings to go through this evolutionary cycle yes and so this and moonstone is all about emotions we're talking about people not wanting to let go of what they've always known. So if we're going to be stubborn and stuck, please, oh God, please don't do that. Please don't do that because you're, you're going to break my heart because you're going to suffer so much. You're not doing it for me. That's not what I meant. <laughs> That's not really stupid. But um, what I'm getting at here is that we don't want to watch people suffer because they're hanging on to some old idea or way or you think the way to be powerful in your own world is by diminishing others or being verbally abusive or God forbid abusive in other ways. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> They're saying there's an, an evening of the distribution of power. So uh, power being returned to the individual, but only if the individual can be responsible with it. That's important. That's the cycle that we're coming into. Uh, a little more um, equality. And again, it's not the kind of equality of victim being redeemed. Is redeemed the right word? I don't know. Victim coming, coming, rising back up, getting off the floor after having been knocked down. That's what I mean. Um, it doesn't have that kind of feeling about it, but rather someone who says, okay, that happened. I learned from it. There's been justice and now we're even. Okay. I know that's weird. It's a weird message. Um, and I don't really fully know what that means, but if we allow this to unfold, I didn't, I didn't hear that. What was that again? If we allow this to unfold, we'll get to the next step in our evolution and there will be a, a lessening of hatred. Look at me. I'm like, oh, really? Like, shoot, I'm doing the reading and I'm like skeptical. But um, we need to knock it off. We need to knock it off. So this isn't about... Yeah, they're saying right now that humans do overcorrect. They've said that before. And we must be careful with this. Must be careful not to overcorrect. So... And challenge, challenging the information. They're saying be careful about challenging the information because some of you aren't doing it to kind of cross check what you're hearing or to evaluate for yourself whether you want to take that as a truth for you or not, but rather you're challenging it just to be a pain. That's all you're doing. Well, it's, I don't agree with you. Therefore, you're my enemy. Ooh, ooh. Listen, I was using the example last week of uh, comments in the comments section. 
And people are always like, can't you just take some constructive criticism? I sure can if it ever comes in a constructive manner, but it never does. We need to decondition ourselves because we are in a, we're under a spell right now. And it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up and stop allowing people to tell us that you're never allowed to have your own power. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. All right. So our next card is Morganite relationship healing. Now for you as an individual, see everybody, we are, we are sort of born and bred and sort of conditioned to be very selfish and self-centered. It's part of our human design, I think, you know, to be self preserving. Right. Uh, and so our minds might immediately go to, Oh, you know, uh, am I going to heal my relationship with my husband, my wife, my friends, my this, my that. And they're saying, please start thinking a little more about others. It's not always just about your particular situation. This is a need to heal the relationship with all of our brothers and sisters on this planet. And there will be people who choose not to be a part of the family. Okay. These are the people that you see acting out, doing horrible things to other people. Okay. If we all came together and started giving people room to be who they are in a loving way, that doesn't mean letting them get away with stuff. If they're being nasty to you, again, set a boundary. Um, you don't have to be afraid to do that. I get very passionate about that. <laughs> but uh, this is more like if you just kind of not go in there and try to change everybody to suit what you're comfortable with and rather uh, embrace the beauty that is unique to them, right? Embrace whatever or just, you know, be open to listening to it at a minimum to their perspective of things without judgment, Okay on the beauty thing, you know, uh, you'll discover that at some point we said that wrinkles are ugly. Fat is ugly. Try me in the comments. Try me. Cause I am fat and I'm wrinkly. <laughs> I'll get real defensive about it. Okay. <laughs> but like, no, I was just kidding. Just kidding. But you know, people can be very, very hateful about that. And very diminishing. I had this one little fool, excuse me, this is a side thing. He'd be like, oh my God, you're so nice, bitch. I call somebody a fool. <laughs> you're in for it, okay? 2020 is going to knock you, okay? But um, I had this person call me. I, I think I left a comment on like a Shane Dawson video for the, the series, okay? And uh, this guy said to me, he's like, okay, boomer. Or no, it was on my video. What am I talking about? It was on my video, the one where I'm car vlogging. And uh, he was like, okay, boomer. And I'm like listen up. I am a Gen Xer and we have a real complex about getting overlooked. Okay. <laughs> so don't age me. Number one, not that there's anything wrong with being a boomer. Hey, what's up people? Um, <laughs> but not only that, but <laughs> you fed right into our complex. Okay. Everybody just forgot about us. They went from the boomers to the millennials. We're of the friends generation. Okay. Remember that show? That was us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, what the heck were we talking about? <laughs> so we're talking about healing the relationships with all of us. All right. And, and not just bringing it down to your specific situation. Okay. Yes. And in, in some respects you need to start there. Oh, and then I was talking about like not being hateful about beauty, realizing that, you know, you don't have to be look a certain way to be beautiful. So we're cracking open some of the mindsets and that's going to lead to the healing of the relationships we have with one another. Um, sorry, they're coming through here and saying, um, once this happens, you'll notice that people who maybe wouldn't have been friends are now friends. I know, gosh, all through my 30s, if I saw a woman who was tall, I'm five foot two, thin, I'm not telling you the rest of that information, um, you know, and like model gorgeous kind of thing, I would immediately go, I would just assume that she would think less of me, so I wouldn't even try to be friends with her, right? That is such old fashioned thinking. And I think it's really refreshing. The message here that's coming through is that we're breaking away from that. And now people are starting to not have those judgments, or at least we're going to start being aware of how not to have. <laughs> I don't know if we're all going to get cured in this next week, but, um, you know, we're going to start having some awareness around that and realizing we don't need to be insecure with one another. We are brothers and sisters. We are all very valuable uh, expressions of the divine. If that's not your cup of tea, I don't know what you're doing here. 
I mean, thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the view. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I don't know what you're doing here. All right. Let's get all this talk. All right. <laughs> Next card. Pyromorphite patience. So this is actually a very, very important thing to bring up because a lot of times when we want change, we want it now. We are in an age of immediacy. We think everything has to happen yesterday, <laughs> right? And there, I think this is coming up as just a reminder that this is going to be a slow turning ship. Yes. So relationship healing, you know, coming back together with our fellow humans and appreciating life and valuing our life forms. We need to give this a little bit of time. All right. So don't get impatient. Don't think that, oh, it's all useless because it didn't just turn around overnight. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, there's the card. We are getting to a place of joy. It's opal. We Joy is within our reach. This is another thing that we get conditioned to think that life is just terrible. It's just hard. The harder you work, you know, that's the only way that makes you valuable, blah, 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 blah. And they're saying, no, you're about to step into a true definition of joy. If you will allow it. Now, if you were somebody again, who wants to just spread hatred, I've told people in the comments, you know, hate is hate, hate is hate. It's the same kind of energetic frequency. So even if, oops, what am I doing here? Um, even if, you know, you've, like, I, I've always told people and let people know that I've suffered from, not suffered from, but I've experienced uh, narcissistic abuse. Now, if I go around, I'd be very curious in editing to see if you guys can hear that. Oh my God. We want to be very aware of the energy we're putting onto other people. Even if something has happened to you, I, you know, again, I've, had some horrible encounters with men. I have had, um, you know, I told people, I've told people this many times, I've uh, had narcissistic abuse and not just once or twice, guys. I, I thought this was normal. I thought that's just how the world was um, and how I was being treated. If I go around thinking that everyone is always going to do that, now I'm shutting myself off from, poten from potential love, okay? We always have a choice. We can either stop the hate or we can keep perpetuating it. Okay. And that's, that's the realization you're going to have to come to. I had somebody write me a comment one time and they said, you know, I'm really uncomfortable with how you are dismissive about the things that have happened to certain groups of people. And I thought that was really interesting. I was like, dismissive how? And you're saying, well, well, don't hate. Don't hate the perpetrators, basically. I'm, I'm saying not po don't poison yourself. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that people don't have a right to be upset or to be on guard or to still, we, we still have to work towards social uh, justice, you know, all of that. We're still working towards that, but it needs to have a different approach. But I found it very interesting that that's how somebody interpreted what I was saying, right? It's interesting. We all have different brains. We have different perspectives. This is all part of the message, guys. This is all going into us learning how to heal relationships with one another, okay? All right. Understanding that we're all going to take things a different way, even if something wasn't intended in the way that maybe someone took it, all right? All right, so tangerine, be spontaneous and have fun. The number is 17. It is okay to lighten up. Get to know your neighbors, you know? Get to know some people that you had once seen as your enemy, right? Get to know uh, yourself in, in a way, kind of through their eyes. That's an interesting message. Doesn't mean that their definition of you is who you are. But if you've ever had somebody say, like maybe you don't see yourself as successful and somebody comes forward and says, yeah, you are. You're super talented at X, Y, and Z. Well, maybe you don't see that about yourself. And that's the beauty of having our brothers and sisters on this planet is that they can reflect that back. The thing that we want to be cautious with, though, is when someone is just in pain, they're in the hateful energy, they're in that their pain body, um, and they're just wanting to hurt other people. I'm going to hurry up and do this because I'm really like genuinely afraid something's going to come crashing through this window. Uh, anyway, and they're trying to spread that pain and hate onto you. That's where you just need to have that awareness and go, okay, what they're saying about me, no. Now you don't have to look at yourself through their eyes, <laughs> all right? That's a different scenario, all right? So we're gonna leave it there. I'm gonna get the heck away from the window. I am sending you all so much love and take care.
and there, that wind, oh my gosh, unreal, unreal. <laughs> Do you hear that wind? I, I'm like Dorothy over here, okay, I'm gonna blow away. Okay, I'm not dead yet, so <laughs> let's keep going.